What's up everybody? Welcome back to another review. I am so excited to be back doing another review. It's been so long. I think my last review was Jenny Toland in like early July. Um, excuse me. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for this video because we are back and we're going to be reviewing the new Blue Desert 2020 or 2019 to 2020 items. I am so excited. We've got a lot of fun stuff to review. We got the Rev and Go tractor. I've got Slim Hood, Real Del Lee, Speedy Comet, Metallic Climbing Shields. Um, all of those videos will be coming out over the next few weeks. Um, I'm going to be trying to upload reviews every week for the time being until I run out of things to review. So look forward to that. But yeah, I know it's been a while, but I am back and I am ready to start filming more videos. So let's get started with this review of the Rev and Go Racing Tractor from the 2019 to 2020 Blue Desert series, as collectors are referring to it as. So, oh, another thing, I'm in my car's room filming, like I did in my Mega Unboxing, which was my last car's video, I believe I did before the A New Era video, um, which by the way, the information in that video is outdated because I said I was going to stop reviews, but I'm doing reviews again, I'll talk about that more in another video, but regardless, here we are with the Rev and Go tractor in the car's room, very exciting. So let's start by looking at the packaging. So we have, no longer do we have the slanted cars logo, but we've got this Disney Pixar cars regular logo on a white little, I guess, background there with a red stripe going down or diagonally down, almost like a hockey stick. Um, we have this nice blue art for the, um, this is just like the desert. And I don't know why it's blue. It seems very weird to make it blue, but I mean, it looks nice. Um, I'm definitely a fan of it. And here we have some awesome art for the Rev and Go tractor. I really like it. He is in a brand new series called Tractor Training. Very, very exciting. And the name tags are white. They have a brand new font. Um, and it says Rev and Go Racing Tractor. And again, we have that like white hockey stick esque design. Whoop. On the back here, we have tractor training. Um, a nice picture of all the tractors. We got the Rev and Go, um, Sputter Stop, No Stall. I think that's um, Sparrow Mint or Triple Dent. We got the Tank Coat one. And it says Smokey trains lightning and crews by having them weave through a herd of stampeding tractors. We got Rev and Go tractor. Um, oh, focus camera. Who is out now. And Shiny Wax tractor who will be out very soon. Um, they're also doing. Combustor tractor, a tank coat tractor, and a no stall tractor. Very nice, very exciting. We just have a bunch of legal information, and of course, it is made in Thailand. Let me just put my phone back here. All right, so I will be right back with this awesome car out of the package. This is probably one of my most like favorite new releases we've had in the Blue Desert line so far. Um, previously it was Hot Rod Smokey, but I think the tractor just looks so, excuse me, so good out of the package. Like, it looks amazing. Now, unfortunately, we do not have the regular next-gen, um, Rev and Go Racer, but I believe he is scheduled to come out next year, so that is awesome. I know a lot of people, there's a lot of controversy surrounding the idea that they're releasing this tractor version before the normal version, but I mean, I guess it is what it is, really. Let's start off the little review. So, he's got a really nice, it's like a happy expression, but it's also like a lazy, um, laid back expression. Um, kind of like, almost like a dog when, you know, he's like, he's really happy, he wants to play, and he's like panting, kind of a thing. I don't know, that's super weird analogy, but whatever. Um, he is all green to reflect Next Gen Rev and Go, as well as some yellow. Um, he's got this like black... I think this is like some sort of piston or something. I'm not really sure what that is. We've got the silver radiator cap right there. Um, on the Oh, and we got the front like grill here. Very nice, nice and textured. Um, number 73 for the next gen Rev and Go. Um, and we got the this like gold text text blah 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 blah. Um, texture design 
with um, arrows, it looks like, pointing in various directions. We can see some of the internal inner workings of the uh, tractor, which is pretty cool. He's got two small yellow wheels and then two very large yellow um, rims, wheels there. It's very cool. And you can't really, oh no, it does say Lightyear, okay. It's a really weird Lightyear logo. We've got the side fenders here, um, as well as the gray windows. The mirrors are all green. Um, again, you can see the another window. On the back here, it says Revengo with number 73, and it says carburetor. What does that say? Carburetor. Here, let me look at it. Decongestant. So it's carburetor decongestant. It's got the yellow rookie stripes. That's interesting. They put the rookie stripes on the tractor, too. That's really cool. I like that. Um, this side is the same as the previous side. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not. I believe right there. Okay, actually, no. No, I don't believe it's real. It is real. It's the Piston Cup. It's the contingency sponsor. So we got Piston Cup. Um, carbon Cybers on the bottom there. Uh, they're very, I can't tell what the other ones are, but I can see Piston Cup and Carbon Cyber. Yeah, the other ones are too small for me to read. Oh, it was on the other side too, okay. So, I am blind, I did not see that. That's really cool. I like that. Oh, uh, almost dropped him. He's, he's very spinny as you can tell. Okay, come on. He's very spinny as you can tell. Um, we got number 73 again with the gold arrow type design. I want to look at his eyes a little bit more. Yeah. The black outline. I like the black outline on the tractors. I think they really it really helps them stand out. And it does actually match the artwork on the car as well, which is nice. Um, we got the green eyelids. And his eyes are appear to be like a really faint green color as well, which is kind of cool. On the base here, we've got... Um, made in Thailand, Mattel... The date stamp is M25A, so it was made in the 25th week of 2019, which would have been 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, would have been made around the start of August, and this guy came out in around September, so very nice. You got like the quote-unquote udders, you know, because these are based off of cows, they got like the cow udders, tractor udders essentially. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be, but it's there. <laughs> kind of interesting. But yeah, that is going to wrap it up for my review of the Revengo tractor. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, do you like this guy? Are you a fan of the racing tractors that they are going to be releasing? I know I am. Um, actually, another one I forgot to mention is um, coming out now. Actually, there's a two-pack with Rusty's Cruise. And the Bumper Save Racing Tractor, which is very cool. I'm excited for that one. Um, hopefully, I can get that two-pack as well as all the other two-packs that are in that case. With like Heyday Junior Moon, Eli Turnpike. Um, there's that two-pack. There's Maddie McGear and her mom. Sweet Tea and Guido. Um, stuff like that. I want to get those two-packs. So hopefully, I can and I can review them in the next few weeks. But in the meantime, we have a lot of other fun videos as well. We've got... Real Del Lee, got Metallic Ryan Shields, We've got Speedy Comet, uh, we got Slim Hood, and um, not Blue Desert, but I do think I'm still going to review it. We got Mike Stock Car as well. So, very excited to do all of those videos. Um, I hope you guys are excited for them as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video, which will most likely be Slim Hood. So thank you for watching. See you all next time.